time to call up some friends for a late summer dinner party. Thinking about setting up for that might overwhelm you, but there's so much to plan for. Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com is making it simple for us. Take a look. Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com, you've done it again. Thank you, Scott. It is late summer and you have made the yeah. most beautiful display here for a late summer's evening dinner. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we started with a real humble foundation. Okay, and yeah, that it's kind of really old picnic table. Old picnic table. And you know what? I just wanted to show everybody that you got an old table, you can dress it up and make it look fabulous. Okay, so we start where? Well, we start with placemats. And I love these straw placemats. Um, I like that they're rustic and they're still summery and beachy. Okay. And again, the fact that it's late summer, how do we keep summer alive, but yet, you know, have a nod to autumn that's coming? So summer to me is the blue and whites, a little bit of that silver tone. Um, even the napkin rings have a little bit of roping. Mm. Uh, also, Oxford cloth. Oxford cloth for the napkins. Yeah, so it's just, it has this like formality meets casual. Okay, and yeah, because I love the silver on, would this be a, like a rattan? Yeah, it's a raffia. A raffia. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. So it's kind of uh, elegant meets country. Yes, and I think that's that's the that's the magic sauce here. Yeah. Is that it's the, all this mixing. Like also our glasses, keep it playful. It's still summer. So we have these wonderful polka dotted glasses. Um, and then, you know, of course, it's like, okay, now we have harvest. Mm -hmm. So sunflowers are in season. You could see I took some very simple glass cylinder vases. Um, and then all I did was cut down the sunflowers and stuff them in each one and keeping them low so you can see the person across from you. Okay. Now I notice the silverware is not matchy-matchy. No, it's not. I like to mix and match. And again, I think that's like a really wonderful vintage vibe that you can add to your table okay. or collect it. Now, in addition to the colors, I see different types of herbs and mint and things like that. Yes. Um, also, this time of year, we have fabulous harvest of basil. So again, you know, people are always commenting, oh my gosh, what is that scent? And so it's really, really pungent and wonderful. And then on the other side, we have just a freshly cut little bouquet of mint. That smells. And what's great too, it helps amazing. keeps the bugs away. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it does. So, you know, imparting fragrance into your table setting, even before the food arrives, I think is really, really important. It's like color, fragrance, texture, and form all come together. And if you notice. Yeah, you've used the little cherry tomatoes as like table garnish. Yes, well we all know we're growing cherry tomatoes this time of year we have tons of the them. A million of them. So I'm thinking, look it's the same color as my sunflowers. Oh, they're good. Aren't they wonderful? They're so sweet. And then these can also replicate the polka dots of the glasses and again it sprinkles more of the color throughout the table. Talk to me about the votives I see with the candle and there's water in them. Yes, I put water in my uh, votives so when it melts it's easy to just um, turn these upside down and shake the wax out. Now that's a very clever idea. I do it all the time. It's really worth, you know, <laughs> taking the time to put water in here because it's hard to get the wax out. No, that's a really that's a really clever idea. But these are hand blown by an artist. Um, these will be available on um, my online shop, Hunt Club. And as will most of the things on this as table. As pretty much everything on this table. Also, look at these gorgeous things. So, again, when you're thinking of candlelight votives, but then maybe you want to anchor the yeah, two ends of you your table. Yeah, you are always so good at anchoring the table. It brings, um, it kind of really uh, grounds the table as well as it brings height where you need it at the two ends and light, more light, especially when we're going to be sitting out here when it's getting dark. Talk to me about the throws that are on the bench. Um, the throws here are wonderful old vintage throws and the cool thing is that I kept in the blue and green family. So it, it really works with what I've got on the table. And this is wonderful to just line your picnic bench with, or when it's getting, getting chilly later on in the evening, my guests can um, pick one up and wrap themselves in it. Which is just so great, because I love the cool nights of the uh, late summer going into Me early too. fall. That's such a great time. All right, and then for the drinks, we have polka dotted uh, glasses. Yes. And a beautiful, the wine decanter. Isn't that pretty? This is just a beautiful glass urn um, that we decided 
you know, you can put flowers in this, you can do so many things, but here we, we filled it with the ice cubes, have a really nice French rosé, and then I found these glasses that Look how great they look with these polka dots. Oh, so they're not uh, the exact sets. They're, they're just, not the exact, but I put them together. So they this, look great. This is water, and then this is kind of like a champagne flute that would be so pretty with a pink rosé in it. All right, and the people can just kind of help themselves over yes. here at the bar. Yes, and I like that it's kind of a little rustic little table and uh, kind of works with the whole, the whole vibe here. Everything looks so perfect. It really looks wonderful. And again, this is all, uh, most of the items on the table are available through your online shop called NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com and it's Hunt Club. Hunt Club. I mean, look at these little guys. You know, change up your salt and pepper shakers. Make this, make them a novelty. So again, there's so many different ways to infuse interest and character to a table. Which these, is, this, these will be available also, these okay. little fellas. Terrific. Well, everything looks terrific. I'm ready to eat. What are you serving? <laughs> oh, pizza on the grill. Pizza on the grill. That'll be for our future segment coming up. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, we just wanted to say thank you so much, Nora Murphy. Thank Where you. can we go for more inspirational ideas? NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Check it out. Thank you so much, Nora. This looks perfect. And let me tell you, pizza is coming up tomorrow. Oh, that sounds when amazing. Make a pizza on the grill, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I love to dine outside, and again, Nora dressed up her table with things she already had. So gather up your things, set, down them, set them down on the table, and just invite a few friends over and have a party. And again, for more great ideas, you can check out Nora's book, Nora Murphy's Country House Style. You'll find it on her website, noramurphycountryhouse.com. Enjoy your dinner party. Yeah.